Right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Slate Gorgon's ship, the Pike. So, uh, Hello. Let's take a look at it, man. Yeah, the, uh, this is my faction's uh, combat cruiser. It's called the I Hate Pike, which yep. stands for Imperial Hunter Pike. Nice. It is primarily a long-range attack vessel with a damage beam with 100% ion, then it has a damage, a missile with damage beam that does up to 4 million damage. I love the tanks you've got at the back, what are they for? Thank you. Uh, there is a oxygen tank and then there is a carbon monoxide tank to collect the CO2 and all the other bad stuff people put off. <laughs> nice, I like it. Engines are really cool as well. You got a lovely glow coming off of there. Yes, I do. I got the idea of the thrust effect from Ben Hawkins on his latest, one of his latest ships. Nice. I love the hull cladding as well. You've done a great, made a great effort with all the detailing and hull cladding on this ship, especially like your um, uh, antennas on top of the bridge. Yeah. So it's a radar disc communication and then there is a navigation that does a ping kind of like sonar yep wicked really nice styling throughout lovely detailing lovely lighting i like the choice of green red gray and black it looks really good especially when you put some bright lights here and there is that the imperial hunters logo uh, yes, there is, and there is another logo on here, which I hope you saw, but if not, it's over here. So I'm just rushing around the ship. Where is this other logo? It is towards the bow of the Imperial Hunter logo. Oh, I see you. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. So uh, I kind of put the Imperium logo on it as my way of saying, like, I hunt Imperium. <laughs> not officially, but if I see them, I will hunt them. Yeah. But not that. It's, it's kind of an Easter egg for people that know what it is or don't know what it is. It's a pretty awesome ship, man. I'm not going to lie. The shape is very nice. And very there is nice another shape. thing on this ship that most people tend not to do or don't really know how to do it. Is an activation and deactivation of thrusters on the ship. Oh, what do you mean? We're gonna go into uh, the hangar. It, Should we go into the hangar? Uh, I'm already in. I'm in the cold ship. Oh. You wouldn't mind flying out to the back where the engines are. I can show you the All deactivation right. and activation sequence. All right, you do that first, then, yeah. Okay, right, they should be going off in just a few moments. Oh, I'm at the back. Ah, right, I they, get it. You turned set off. Up. You can turn everything off, right? Yep. I get it. So the engines turn on and off, guys. Yep. It is set up in secret, so it looks like they are activating like they should. Hmm. All right. Let's dock up my chair. Oh, wait, I can't. Okay, I'm going to jump out of my little review boat. It's looking really spiffy today. Right. So, okay, this way we go. Let's go. Oh, wow. It's like Star Trek Generations. Okay. Nice. I might know. The, the hallways are so far the only major interior detail that I have on this. Yeah, it looks nice. Those hallways were quite clean. Yep. The uh, cellways aren't the best. Well, you haven't got gravity on, so it's, should, it's fine. No, I don't. <laughs> so what are this the, is the uh, core room. What are the uh, main features of your interior? Primarily, the hallways are the biggest key points, but the bridge is the most detailed part of the ship. Okay, Where, whereabouts is that? Uh, if we go this way and take a left, then we go up. It has a asymmetrical interior. Ah. 
And fourth off, the weapons room. All oh, right, so weapons lockers. Armor. Yep. Cool. What's next? Now the birds. Ooh. The birds were designed to be like to give you the best view of the combat zone. So if you need be, you can see everything, and it gives you the power and sealed capacity. Sadly, there is anything that gives you the active power regen and active sealed regeneration. Right. And we have our dual jump drive over here. We have a primary jump drive and a evac jump drive. Oh, okay, so just <laughs> interesting. Yep. Scanner. Don't know what that one is. The um, other one over there is overdrive. No. Ah, right. Explosive, I believe. And we have the captain's ready room here. The good view. Then we have the captain's quarters. <laughs> With extra Y holes. Yep. And we have panels over here so the captain can check on the ship, see what's going on. And there is a 300, well, 180 degree of viewing from the ship, or from this point. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, very true. With no struts either. Nope. Except for this computer, but that's, you know, cool. Actually, there is a hole connection yeah, out yeah. there. I see it. Nice bed. That's probably the most Thank luxurious you. bed I've actually seen. I'll be honest. No one makes them, like, king size. <laughs> hey, it's the captain's room. I know, right? The captain right? needs a big bed. The captain needs some perks, you know? Otherwise, it's just a regular room. Going down. Yep. And just in case you're not used to watching, uh, there is gravity in this game and walking animations, but we've just decided to go zero G. I, I tend not to put gravity in the ship till it's done. Yeah. So, yeah. To make it more realistic. As long as how many steps do you know that What's have gravity the back door, done? Then? What's in the back? Oh, wait. This is a different hangar. What? Actually, this is the this is the primary shuttle bay. Yeah. The front one is visitors. Oh. Uh, come over here real quick. Okay. You see why it's a shuttle bay? Oh, because you can't really get out of it. Yep, it's a tight fit. So it's for shuttles only to go and land. Both of these bays were a last minute decision when, while I was building the hull. Yeah, they look fine. They're very well designed. The styling's in keeping with the rest of the ship. What do you want to do, you know? Nice use of thrusters as detailing as well on the floor there. Yep. Yeah, I got the idea of using thrusters as like a like a metal grate or something for like maintenance from uh, Lego Robot ships. Right. Alright, do you and want to get on so, your ship or should I go outside? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hop on mine. Okay. So there it is, IH Pipe. Do you want to say anything else just in case I miss something? Uh, it has approximately 8 million shields and fairly good uh, thrust mass ratio. <coughs> yep. And there will be more of this ship and other classifications of this ship. Really nice. Right, well, I can't wait to see the next ship you bring along. Thanks to everybody watching. And as always, more ship reviews coming up on this channel. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. 
And uh, thank you very much, Slate, for joining us. Yep. So, as always, I'll see you next time, guys. And we'll have some Bye. more ships soon. Goodbye.